Let's get back to the markets and the economy. Goldman Sachs says there will be a 75 basis point rate hike Wednesday, 50 basis points December, maybe 25 in January. David Barnson joins me. If they're right, if Goldman is right, David, what, does that, what would that do to the market? Uh, it would do nothing in the sense that that's exactly what the futures market has been saying. Yeah. Um, so it isn't just Goldman in that camp. The futures are saying there's almost a 100 percent chance of 75 basis points in two days and then another 50 to 75 between the next two meetings. So Goldman's just right in consensus and markets are expecting that, Stuart. Will, the, will that, if they did that, will that bring down inflation? No, the Fed funds rate right now has nothing to do with inflation. Inflation is supply side driven. There's not enough production of goods and services, and there are policies that are impeding us uh, running the economy at the capacity it's capable of. This is not about the cost of capital, my friend. Okay. We always come to you for big, uh, strong paying and consistently paying dividend stocks. You've got two today. Let's start with Blackstone. Go through that one for us. Yeah, the reason I want to bring up Blackstone, which obviously you and I have talked about so many times on your show, is that it really dropped quite a bit. It's interest rate sensitive. They borrow money to buy companies, and the stock got all the way down back to $80 or so, yeah. and it's come back up into the 90s. I just think at a you know six six and a half percent annual dividend yield, um, this is a tremendous buying opportunity for a company that has now become a trillion dollar powerhouse buying real estate, private equity, and credit. And uh, thanks to your recommendation, I am still in it, David, and I thank you very much for that. Uh, how about Intel? I always keep an eye on that. Uh, what, what's the, what's the, the, um, the dividend at $28 a share? Yeah, I mean, it's over 5%, and you say 28 because it was up, the stock was up over 10% on Friday. Yep. This is the first time I can remember in a long time that Intel's quarterly news caused the stock to go higher. They've been spending a ton of money reinvesting into Ohio and Arizona to build uh, semiconductor manufacturing. In the meantime, their personal computing chip business has been declining. Well, it kind of picked back up. And I think if a bottom is in place for data center, personal computing, that business is trading at nine times earnings and yielding over 5% while you get to buy a sort of call option on the future um, business endeavor of Intel. I really like entering Intel at this level. Got it. David Barnson, always good stuff. And we appreciate it. Always. Thanks, David. See you again soon.